Okay, so let's be clear up front that everybody misses $5 million. You never get so goddamn rich you don't notice 5 million bucks flying out the door, even when you're getting Putin-level kickbacks. But something tells me the $5 million reward isn't the thing that most pisses Trump off about the E. Jean Carroll case. So let me back up and fill in the details here. Back in 2019, author and former cable news host E. Jean Carroll came forward to say that Trump raped her back in the 90s. He said she was full of shit, so she sued him for defamation. The trial took place over the last couple of weeks, and it was filled with the exact same disgusting bullshit that you come to expect when you follow any rape trial. But it turns out that E. Jean Carroll was a hell of a witness in her own defense. And when Trump's lawyers started that, well, why didn't you scream bullshit? She shut him down in a way that echoed through the media for days. Well, we got the verdict on Tuesday, and it was pretty much exactly what we were hoping for. While the jury stopped short of saying that Carol proved Trump raped her, they did say that the preponderance of evidence was that he sexually assaulted her. And let's face it, some of the evidence was to access Hollywood tape where he brags about how often he sexually assaults women. So I don't think that was a very hard case to make. The jury also found that he defamed her when he denied the charges, which amped up the punitive damages quite a bit, to the tune of about $5 million, all told. That is five million bucks he has to pay her. Of course, Trump has vowed to appeal the verdict and he'll probably do it because he's too fucking stupid to realize that five million dollars is a small price to pay to get the that time Trump provably sexually assaulted someone story out of the daily fucking news cycle before we get any further into the presidential campaign. And from what I can tell, he's not particularly likely to win the appeal either. And even if he does we'll all still know that a jury looked at the evidence and decided it was clear that Trump sexually assaulted a woman. What's more, a bunch of rich, rapey dudes were just put on notice that even 30 years later, their crimes could come back and take a $5 million bite out of their futures. Anyway, I know this is a show about atheism, and I know Noah just did a diatribe about mission drift, but this news was too good not to revel in for a minute. So on that unusually happy note, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.